Yeah, when I was, uh, I, I still I can't come up with that age yet, but uh, probably, you know, eight or some years around there, we lived down near the uh, Jersey side of the Hudson River, and we went down there one time and the fleet was in, the whole Navy fleet, ships all up the Hudson River, all anchored, with all the poor little sailors on board. And uh, when I took a look at that, that's when I decided I wanted to go with the Navy. And I was, you know, at age, didn't have any idea what the Navy was, but I, that's what I wanted to do. So, and that's what I did. <laughs> no doubt that, you know, subconsciously there must have been some consideration that, you know, if he went, I should go type thing. You know, so I guess that's what you mean, right? Yeah. But uh, I was very much interested in going my way because, you know, he was in the Army and I couldn't see that. Ever. For beans, I couldn't see the Army. <laughs> so, but anyhow, that's, uh, as soon as I turned of age, I was on my way. Well, I, I, I think everybody was interested, but not everybody was interested enough to join up. Because uh, you had to quit school, you know, because... Being uh, 17, you, you're not you're not out of school yet, so I had to quit school to go, and uh, that I regretted many moons thereafter. Still do, in fact, because that, that left a hole that uh, finally got it filled. But I mean, it was a long way in getting filled. Uh, that that was a. At the time, I didn't realize what that meant. <laughs> but years later, I realized what that meant. And uh, but most, I I think most of the uh, kids of that age that didn't want to go, that their parents probably held them back from going. I'm I'm assuming. I don't know because my parents didn't want me to go either. But uh, I was a persistent little cuss, you know. <laughs> Being a corpsman puts you in touch with a lot of things that uh, I, I would say that most service guys don't get exposed to. That uh, the, the handicapped, the wounded, the you know people that are hurt and really need trouble, really have trouble, and really uh, need your help. And, uh, and I was I was fortunate, and I went to Brooklyn Naval Hospital right after I got out of boots, and. Uh, there I got trained in uh, oxygen therapy and physical therapy. So I had a, a, a good educational background from the Navy to proceed. And when I went on the ship, that's what I was. I was a physical therapist on that ship. So, and it was, it was a good thing. Except they wouldn't let, let us talk to take care of the females. I, don't, I never understood that. <laughs> Our ship had to notify the enemy where we were in the ocean every day. And because of that, the fleet didn't want anything to do with us. You know, we were uh, definitely alone out there in that ocean. <laughs> the fleet would just stay away from us. <laughs> guys that were in the field with the Marines, FMF, they had the, the worst. They had the worst. Because, A, no, uh, no sidearms, no weapons, and in the, in the area, with the enemy, and you were, you were marked, uh, corpsmen and officers were marked by the Japs in particular to be first prime targets. Because if nobody got fixed, then that, you know, that would be one thing, and if there was nobody to lead, that was another thing. So there were two prime targets, and that's, that's kind of the way it went. Yeah.